Hi, my name is Alex White. I'm a design engineer for OPW Retail Fueling, and this is the 61 F Stop Retrofit Kit. So, when you receive your kit, you'll receive a collar with a plug hole, a plug with a gasket, two o rings, cable, cable connector, and two crimps. If your 61 F Stop is not currently installed, you need to refer to OPW 61 F Stop above ground storage tank overfill prevention valve installation and maintenance instructions before beginning. This can be found on OPW's website. If your f-stop is currently installed, the first thing that you need to do is mark a line around the top of this collar. You can mark this with a permanent marker or paint marker, something that you'll be able to see later. After that, remove the top cam lock Set that to the side. Once that's done, remove the set screws from the collar. And remove the collar. After that, you need to remove one of the nuts from the float. For the half float such as this, you can remove any nut as long as the cable connector is pointed back towards the float. Once that's put on, you can reconnect the nut. These can be tightened down to 22 inch. So make sure you do not over tighten it, it will crack the float. For the cylindrical floats, there is one nut, there is one side that you can pick. It is the side with the linkage on the opposite side. Make sure that the cable connector is pointed towards the, the back of the float opposite of this. You can use this side, you cannot use this side. Once you have your cable connector on, you can put your cable through. Make sure that you run your wire through the cable crimp first, and then through the cable connector. Once that is like that, you can go ahead and crimp your cable. After that, you can trim off any excess cable. All right. All right. So once your cable's connected, the next step is to take your two O-rings, insert them into here, your new collar that has the hole in it. Uh, once they're inserted, you can take some light oil on your O-rings and then slip it over, slip it over the nipple. Make sure that your collar is lined up with your marking and make sure that the hole, this, uh, make sure that the plug hole is lined up with the cable hole so that the cable runs straight up and down. After that, you can run your other end of the cable up through the hole. Once that's done, you can take your plug and your cable crimp and put it on the cable. So the next step is to make sure that your cable is straight up and down with the hole. After that, you need to pull your cable tight so your float is in the up topmost position and measure off the top of this collar to the top of your plug. And for half floats, it needs to be six to six and a half inches when the cable is pulled. Once you have your desired height, you can go ahead and crimp your cable. For cylindrical floats, you want your cable length to be 
three and a half to four inches when the float is all the way up and the cable is pulled. After that, you can trim excess cable off. And you can reinsert your set screws. And then you can reinsert the fitting at the top. Double check that your collar is matched up with your line and that the cable is straight. After that, pull the float up and down, make sure that it moves freely. Reinsert your plug and you can tighten it down to 75 inch pounds. After that, you can install your 61 f stop in your tank and test, retest your float once it's installed. Thanks for watching. If you need additional information, please visit our website. Thank you.